Here in the lab today at Diverse Dimensions, and we've got a reverse engineering project here in front of us. I've got this die block here that my client needs to have um, some data tracked on it, all of the features here so they can produce a new one. And what he wants is a 2D DXF file so that he can dump that back into his machine, his wire EDM, and cut a new one. So what I've got is some feature data already captured in my FCE file. I've got X up today. And what I'd like to show you is how to do a rectangular slot. It's a perfect example of that since this die block is, is a rectangular slot in shape. I could solve that by doing four lines to solve the perimeter of this block, but I thought this would be a good example to show you guys how to do a rectangular slot. So come on into the FCE file and take a look at what I'm going to do here. Notice in my FCE file, I've got some geometry already tracked in here. Got a couple planes in there and some circles. So what I'd like to do now, though, is to do the perimeter of that block as a rectangular slot. But before I do, I'll get rid of the planes here a second in the view just by going up to the, the layers menu here and deselecting the planes. And I'll zoom in just a little bit here. Okay, so you can see my circle content there. But the way I'm going to get my rectangular slot is by going to the measure pull-down menu, slots, Rectangular slot. It's the top option there. And you'll notice this dialog box comes up here that's asking me to select a plane. This rectangular slot is a 2D feature that needs to go to a plane, just like a circle does, or just like an arc does, or a regular slot. And I've been developing all of the rest of this geometry on this die block top, so I'll say OK to that. That's where I want that rectangular slot to appear. Now, notice what happens on the bottom left hand of my screen here. It's asking for point one on the first side. So I'm going to take my arm. And point one on the first side, it doesn't matter really which side I'm starting with. I could do any of these sides here or these faces. But what I like to do as a rule of thumb, I like to pick up on the longest side first. So either this side here or I could pick up on this back side here. So I'll start back here with two points. Just pick up on the outer ends of that side, and then I compensate away. And now notice the bottom left, it's asking for point one on one end of the slot. So I could either pick up on this side here or this side here with two points. So I'll pick up on here with two. Green button, green button, and then compensate away. Now, I only needed one point to solve for these sides as a minimum, but I like to put two points on each as a minimum to solve for the form of that block. So now, on the bottom left-hand corner, it's asking for point one on the second side, which would be this side back here. So I will come in, green button here one time, and then here and then compensate away. Now it's asking for point one in the opposite end of the slot, which is this one here. So I'll do two points there as well. One there. I've got a big chunk of weld right here, so I want to stay away from that. One there. Compensate away. And then notice that the FCE goes back and it calculates the perimeter of that as a best fit rectangular slot. And the first thing I do, without even looking at the numbers, I'm going to change the name. Let's call it the block perimeter. And then I go and I look at the form next. Notice my form is about 4 thousandths of an inch. And that to me makes sense. I've got a block here that's got some weld on it, and I've got some wear marks on it. I can see that as I'm measuring it out. So 4 thousandths makes sense to me. If that number was big, like 20 thou, I would probably go back and reshoot that. But for thou, that makes sense. So I will say OK to that. Now, notice what happens here on the FCE file. I'll hit the escape first just to get out of the measurement. And then I go and I look at what's going on here. Notice this. The perimeter is now this rectangular slot in purple. So I'm going to get that into a view that's almost like a plan view. Zoom in just a little bit more. 
Notice what it looks like. It's a perfect rectangular slot or a perfect rectangle. And that works perfect if you're going to eye just this out to a client or to your CAD guys and then they're going to make a cutter path for this or somehow develop this die block in a CAD system. That comes in as a true rectangle, so it's easy to extrude that through and develop a thickness on that die block.